Hello, welcome. My name is Carlene Cadet Francois, and I help busy professionals convert buildings into licensed assisted living facilities and group homes. Hello, welcome. My name is Carlene Cadet Francois, and I so you bought a building and it has septic tanks. Can you still have an assisted living facility or group home there? Plain and simple, the answer is yes. However, you will have to get some documentations and some extra inspections in place. For example, if you have a septic tank, you will need to find a septic tank inspector who will inspect your septic system at least yearly, ideally twice a year. Um, and also consider the fact that uh, depending on the size of your home, let's say, for example, this is a single family home uh, that uh, the septic system is, is meant for X amount of people. Uh, if you add any additional constructions uh, and if you uh, are seeking for a number of residents, uh, your septic system may need to be changed to fit the size of the number of people that will be using it. This includes your residents and your staff that will be providing services to your residents. So the health department is the authority over the septic system. When they come out to inspect your home, they wanna make sure you have agreements in place. Uh, they wanna make sure you have your inspections for your septic system. You also have to show uh, your septic systems in your plans that you will submit to the emergency management division. You also want to submit the plans and you also want to include your septic system drawing in there into the plans. So the health department uh, is the one that's going to make sure that you have all those plans in place. Uh, remember, uh, the licensing process is it, it's in phases. You're going to go through different phases uh, within the licensing process, and your septic system is at the health department phase. Okay, uh, they are the authority over that. Uh, if you don't have the proper document, if if your septic system is too old, for example, uh, they may require that you replace it. Um, and at the least, they will require that you have it inspected and that you have those agreements in place. But being on a septic system does not prevent you from having an assisted living or group home at that particular location. So yes, I said it. Um, and it's possible. So if you have a septic system, don't panic. Septic systems are a lot more common than we realize. Uh, and you may think it's a nightmare to you, uh, but with the proper guidance and the proper assistance, uh, you don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, we just wanna make sure you have the proper documents in place. And if you are looking for a mentor, uh, we're happy to help you. We are accepting clients. Uh, just send us an email, reach out to us. We'll have a conversation to see if we are a best fit for one another. And um, at the least, I hope you find this video helpful. I hope you found value in it. And if so, please consider to like and subscribe and share it with someone who will find it valuable. Until next time, talk to you later.